Hey guys, long time no see. Yeah, I haven't posted a video in like a month or maybe more. It's just been so crazy with this whole COVID quarantine work from home situation. I'm sure you guys are all feeling the same thing, but I'm back and I'm back with a very exciting video because we're gonna be testing out the new Too Faced Born This Way matte 24 hour super long wear foundation. Wow, that was a mouthful. I got the shade Ivory. I have no idea if this is gonna work for me. Too Faced shades have been pretty orange or very like peachy in undertone just for me in general. So I'm hoping this isn't too dark. I have like the tiniest bit of color to my skin right now because I've been going to the beach a lot. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. Ooh, it looks too dark. <laughs> Yay. So just a little information about this foundation. It was 52 Canadian dollars. So it would be a little bit cheaper in the States, probably in the 40, 45, $48 range. It says it is a life proof foundation that controls oil and keeps you looking flawless for up to 24 hours. Medium coverage, matte finish good for normal dry combination and oily skin types. I am somewhere in this combination oily realm depending on like the weather and the season, um, hormones. It also says it has coconut water, alpine rose, ooh, and hyaluronic acid, free of parabens and Too Faced is cruelty free. Definitely has a kind of decent shade range. There's like, a ton of like light medium and then only a few deep, which, you know, isn't great. When you look at the actual arm swatches, I don't know, it doesn't look too, too bad, but could be better. Okay, so really nice packaging. It's kind of like a massive version of the Born This Way concealer. I was actually expecting it to have like a wand with like a massive doe foot applicator on the end. I don't know why, I think just because it was so like tall and skinny like the concealer and it, I thought it was gonna be kind of like the Clinique, what is it, super, anyway, Clinique has a foundation with like a, a doe foot wand, so I kind of thought it was gonna be like that, but no, it does have a pump. Again, on the back it says oil-free, oil controlling, waterproof, and transfer resistant. Oh, I didn't read that the first time, so very cool and the reason that i was so attracted to this was because a it was like so obviously meant for somebody with oily skin which i do struggle with and it said undetectable so if i can find something that looks natural but holds like my oils at bay like that sounds like the perfect foundation for me so let's just give it a little shake sorry my cat is like slurping water right behind me uh yeah i'm like back filming on the floor because I don't know, there's just something so much more natural about it. This is how I started my channel. This is like how I wanna continue, so. Desk and fancy light be gone. Okay, so here it is on the back of my hand. It is a little bit runny as you can see. Color-wise, I think it is a little bit too dark. I find the camera is a little bit deceiving, but it's a little bit darker in person. Definitely has a warm undertone though on the edge of orange, but let's see. It smells a lot like Urban Decay foundation, kind of like that paint like smell, but there's no like flowery fragrances or uh, anything like that. So I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge first and see how that looks. And then if I don't get enough coverage, We'll switch to a brush, we'll see. Okay, so I have it on this side of my face versus obviously nothing on this side. Again, the color, it doesn't really look as bad. Maybe if I get up close on camera it just got kind of has like a bit of a yellow tinge to it but it's not bad once i like really blended it out kind of down my neck like i don't find it looks too too bad definitely has medium coverage like it said i've got uh, a spot here a spot here here 
and just like some general like redness on my cheeks that it obviously didn't cover 100%, which is fine. I'm not like a full coverage girl anyway. My skin, although I always have spots, it's never like terribly bad that I, I feel like I need to cover everything up. So for me, this is like a good amount of coverage. It is drying down pretty fast, which I did expect with just like the, the matte claims that it had. It did not really do anything for my texture though. Like if you have a lot of just bumps and, and yeah, texture on your skin, you might not, well, it's not that it made it look worse. It just certainly didn't make it look better. I feel like it's going to settle into my smile lines a little bit. So I'm gonna try not to make too many facial expressions while it's still drying. And let's do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna try a brush. I can see that I'm getting better coverage where I use the brush in that spot, but it just looks so much more dry. So I'm gonna switch back to the sponge, but I mean, if you, if you really wanted that extra coverage in certain areas, yeah, the brush might be a better option. Just where it's drying so fast, I think the sponge works a little bit better. The way you don't get the streaks. I'm gonna turn the brightness down just a little bit. Okay, so do I think this is undetectable makeup? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, you can definitely see it on your skin. It looks like you're wearing a foundation. However, it's not super cakey. It doesn't look super powdery for being a, you know, obviously very matte foundation as it claimed. I just kind of wish it did a little bit more for my pores and texture. It just, again, it didn't make it worse. It just didn't do anything. And one of the reasons that I like wearing foundation in the first place is to really smooth over the pores and blackheads across my nose and just like make my forehead overall look smoother. And this just like didn't do anything other than provide a layer of coverage and obviously um, a very matte finish. So I'm not gonna be applying a powder on top of this today. I really don't think you need to. I feel that it's dried down to a very powder finish on its own. And with the claims of this saying how long wearing and oil controlling it's gonna be, I really wanna put it to the test. So no powder. Also, I did not wear a primer with this today. All I did was put on some Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the 72 hour auto replenishing moisturizer. No primer, just this. So yeah, I'm just gonna go blow dry my hair, put a little bit of blush brows, maybe a lip on. Okay, so here's like my true starting point. I just put a little bit of bronzer, blush, lip liner, and brows on. So I will be back later in the day to show you how it's holding up. I will say, since it's like completely dried down, it does feel like not super uncomfortable, but just like a little bit tight kind of on the skin, which oftentimes those transfer proof formulas tend to feel like, but yeah, otherwise, Still looking the same. Makeup went totally fine on top of it. I'm excited to see if it's gonna actually control my oil. Hey guys, so I've been wearing this foundation for over eight hours now, and this will be my final check-in. So overall, it looks really good. I mean, it looks very similar to when I first applied it. It really held on to my blush very nicely. And honestly, the coverage didn't really fade like anywhere. Like I, I feel like it looks very, very similar. The only difference that I'm noticing is on my nose, I have very large pores on my nose and I find that when oil starts to produce when I'm wearing kind of a, a heavier, more matte powdery foundation to look a little bit spotty, almost like each individual pore is starting to like show through where the oil has started to produce. So 
I've got a little bit of that going on. And I do have to say that my smile lines just look more pronounced than usual. And I think it's just because this foundation is just very drying. I mean, I, I felt it on my face that it was very kind of that tight feeling. But in general, I am really not oily at all. I mean, other than like the few little dots on my nose, like I'm not shiny. I mean, what you see on my cheeks is just from my glowy blush. I was in usually at, at about the three to five hour mark, depending on what I put on my face for the day. I can just feel like slimy just touching my face. And like, I still feel very much like powdery, soft and dry. So in that regard, this foundation gets a huge thumbs up from me. If your priority is oil control and having that very set down matte look without having to wear a powder on top, I would definitely recommend checking out this foundation. On the flip side, if you're like me and you are willing to sacrifice some of that oil control for more of a natural looking foundation, then I would probably skip on this guy. And I say that just because, I mean, it just looks like I'm wearing foundation and for an everyday look, I just, yeah, I can't see myself reaching for this unless I'm going out and I need my foundation to last all night through like sweating and I don't know, dancing. I act like I actually go out and dance. I do not. I'm so boring but yeah basically when i need my foundation to last a really long period of time or it's like super hot and sweaty and i and i really want to look uh done up i really want to have a full face on that's kind of when i would use this foundation it is very very similar to the Too faced peach perfect comfort matte formula in my opinion this one's actually a little bit thicker in formula but the way that it feels and the way that it wears is yeah very much the same this one also is very mattifying, very oil controlling. However, it does have that like peach scent, which some people don't love the scent in a foundation. Totally don't blame them. I'm one of those people. It's also similar to an Estee Lauder double wear, which is usually my go-to for when I'm looking for that super long wearing um, foundation, like I need it to last or really want to make sure that my oil is controlled. This is usually my go-to. And it looks very similar to that at this point in the day as well. So I would say if you like an Estee Lauder double wear um, and you like that kind of level of coverage and, and matte look, I would say you probably will like this Too Faced Born This Way uh, matte foundation as well. These are very, very similar in not only texture, but finish and oil control. Sorry, I just turned down my brightness. I was getting a little crazy looking. I'm definitely going to keep this. Some foundations I return immediately after I review because I just hate it so much. I think I actually will keep this because it did do such a good job at controlling my oil. I might actually mix it in with something that is a little bit lighter coverage to make it look a little bit more natural, or I might just put it in certain areas where I get more oily and I don't really need the same level of coverage and matteness on like the the older parts of my face i think also hitting with some setting spray could make it look a little bit more natural as well so i'm actually going to just give that a try right now this is the catrice prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray really like the stuff but it's very messy gets kind of everywhere but anyway and i like to just kind of push that in with a sponge you know what? I actually think that helped a ton with how kind of dry and just like a little bit foundation-y that it was looking kind of on the bottom parts of my face. I find doing that little spritz, yeah, it looks a lot better. So if you do get this foundation, I would definitely recommend putting a setting spray on top. So that is my review. I hope that you guys found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. You can always subscribe to my channel. I put out, I usually put out new videos every week. Uh, obviously I took a hiatus over the last month, but uh, I'll try to upload more and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.